Today on the channel, we're dealing with those snakes once again with Serpent Claws Man at Arms and the Snake Man Infiltrator. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for another Masters Universe Origins unboxing and review and today on the channel from the Masters Universe Origins we've got the Snake Men Infiltrator and we've got Serpent Claws Man at Arms but for all your Masters Universe needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on all in-stock items. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all of the reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And of course, we'll do some comparisons later on in this video as well. And what is old is new again. And these two are the definition of getting the most out of your molds. Is both these figures, the exact same figure with just a few little twists. That's all it takes. And just like that... You got a new figure, but I guess we're going to start it off with old man at arms. Of course, my favorite current Masters Universe. When I was a little kid, I was all about He-Man, but as I've gotten older, man at arms is my guy. He's truly my man at arms at the end of the day, but we got the Snake Man packaging. Very fitting for him, obviously, in his snake gear here. Snake Man sticker right there on the bubble, and then you got man at arms serpent armor. What's it say underneath there for him? Snake hunting web weapons master is what he is, and he's modern posing for retro play. Play. So good for him there. Of course, very classic man at arms look to the face. Got the old classic looking mustache on the face for old man at arms. You can set your 80s watch to in a lot of ways. Of course, got the cross cell down low, UPC's warnings, some play features, then the beautiful artwork up top. Let's see what's going on with old man at arms up here. Oh, he's fighting it out. He's duking it out there in the back. Looking good, looking good. Very colorful and vibrant on the back of this one here. It does say Man at Arms crafted the Serpent Claw as a snake capturing weapon to defend against the Snake Men. So there you go. Push Ser Serpent Claw over his hand, adjust position to capture the enemies. And of course, uh, Spycor and Squeeze also in this set. We already unboxed them on the channel. Check out that review if you did miss that one there. But without further ado, let's get old Man at Arms, old Duncan himself, all Duncan. Like a young Dave Duncan. Oh, another Oakland A's legend, Dave Duncan. There you go. Pull this out. Pull that out. All right. See you later. Goodbye. We do get the comic book here. Got the cross cell on the back. The Fading Fortress is what it says on the front. Uh, because those snake men, they're infiltrating. Ah, and Skeletor's looking on. All kinds of stuff. Beautiful comic books. We always enjoy these. These little short comic books that come with these. Just uh, really neat. A, a nice throw in at the end of the day. Of course, you get the uh, instructions. We don't need instructions. See you later, Spider-Man style. And we get old Man at Arms, the old plastic prison, looking good in there. And of course, per Mattel, we got to lock all these guys in. We can't get these He-Man guys going anywhere. Uh, it's just too dangerous not to lock them in. So that's what they've done. They've locked them in at the feet, at the arms, all over the place. There it is. I think I'm ready to go. There it is. Oh, twist ties everywhere. Bam! Oh, off the screen and back at me. Watch out. Watch out. Extra, extra crazy there today. Watch out for that. It'll get you. It'll get you. But all right, let's get down to business here. Some may say monkey business. Not me, though. I say snake business. We're going to get down to snake business right here. We do get the man-at-arms club instead of orange. We get it in a nice silver color. So apparently he has multiples in his uh, weapons cabinet. So he's got that club here looking good. Looking primitive but futuristic at the same time is how this always looks to me. And then we do get the big old snake arm here. Definitely an interesting one, no doubt about it. You got the old claw going on back and forth, side to side. Oh, you can move it around. So it's got a little uh, features here. You can kind of move it. Almost looks like an X-Wing in Star Wars is what it looks like. But it will open. It will clasp. You can do that kind of stuff. does turn. Twist and turn side to side. Is removable if you need it to be. Plugs in there. A nice green color against the mechanical silver color on this one here. Definitely looking very cool. And then we get down to business. We get down to the old man-at-arms. And it is just a simple repaint of man-at-arms is what this ends up being. Uh, definitely some things that held over. The, the, of course, the Terry uh, Steinbach shin guard. He's got that. And he's got the forearm guard, too. And then he's got his chest protector this time in gray. Got an Eternia's finest loincloth in brown. He's got the blue belt on. And he's matching the belt to his forearm guards, his 
wrist guards here in the same blue color. Then we do get the uh, boots down here, of course, looking really good. Got a little fur lined, of course. Very Eternia-esque, as we know. Arms do go all the way around on him. Single jointed elbows, back and forth, side to side. Hands removable, back and forth, side to side, of course. Waist articulation, big old splits if you need to get away from a snake. Side to side on the knee, single jointed on the knee. Boot cut, can't forget the boot cut. Then you got the ankles side to side, back and forth, looking good. Here for that all day long. Uh, I do like the silver chest plate. It makes it feel a little bit more mechanical uh, with the silver on here. Maybe that's just me. Of course, this material, all removable if you want to take it all off, if you can. Uh, it's not for me, though. I got to leave all that stuff on him. He'd look too weird without all that stuff on him. Uh, then you get down to the head. He's got a blue helmet this go around. And I talked about it. He's got that mustache o doom, like a young Freddie Mercury in a lot of ways. I heard he's got the voice of an angel, just like Freddie had. Who knows? Somebody fact check that one while you're at it. Little beady eyes. That's one thing I've always noticed with this one, too, is the little beady eyes. I'm sure he's going to fit on a ringside collectible stand. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Make sure you get the Mattel stands. And, of course, he does fit on there. And like they said, just put the hand in there, and it'll just kind of fit on. So just like so, it just sticks on the hand very easily. Uh, definitely have to use this for him. That is a, a must-have. And then he throws club in the other hand. And, man, he's ready to take on any snake man that comes his way. That's what he's ready for. But, of course, we got him before in a different color, that green skin tone where this is a much darker green. You got the orangish, yellowish uh, weapons and the chest protector. We get a little of that over here where you get the silver and the chest protector. And then even his loincloth and his boots, a different color here. So very similar, but at the same time, guess what? Very different. And there is, there is some differences on the helmet between these two as well. So... Uh, some differences here and there. Definitely some differences. But if you don't have the old classic man-at-arms, maybe this one will do. I don't think it would for me. But if you want one to have a battle with Snake Man while he's fighting Skeletor, you got different shelves, you got different collections, you could easily do that. So there it is. Old man-at-arms back again with a vengeance and ready to take on the Snake Man. Now we're going to turn our attention over here to a Snake Man infiltrator. One that probably broke old Duncan's heart. He thought it was his man backing him up. Then he turns around, it's a snake person. He's like, oh my gosh, I've been... I've been bamboozled once again. I've been bamboozled. Uh, and it happens. It happens, as we know. But there it is, the old Snake Man infiltrator right there in the classic packaging, Masters Universe, of course, Origin Snake Man sticker right down there. Uh, and he's ready to besmirch anybody in Eternia with this disguise is what he's going to do. The, let the besmirchings begin. That's what's going to happen. It does say, Slithering Spy in disguise and i don't know how you wouldn't know you see those red eyes you're like wait a minute something's up here something's up old barney didn't have red eyes just yesterday what's going on here uh, but you get some artwork up top, got the cross cell, UPC's warnings, a little bit of this and that on the back of the package. Of course, the fabulous artwork. And oh yeah, they're infiltrating. They're ready to infiltrate. And uh, old Duncan just getting a little bit of an eye off to the side. I'm not sure who that princess girl is back behind him. I don't think that's supposed to be Tila. Is that snake armor Tila? I don't think so. I'm not sure who that is exactly. Posing as an attorney or royal guard, the snake men infiltrators silently sneak around to take out heroes. Oh, the sneakiest ones. The sneakiest ones just sneaking here, sneaking to and fro is what they are doing. I'm gonna pull it all out here. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. Oh my gosh, I thought the comic fell out. You gotta be careful here. This one is stuck in. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It was like molded into the cardboard here. We hate to see it. Hate to see it. See you later. We already looked at this. We do got this one, Spider-Man style. Bam! See you later. Goodbye. And we got a little plastic prison here looking good. Of course, buckled in. Why wouldn't we be buckled in? Buckled in in the arms. Of course we are. All right. How am I going to get this out? He is locked in. There's not a lot of room for the old scissors, so we got to go in through the front. Going in through the front, I always love going in through the front, unless I go in through the back. You never know. You never know when it might happen. Uh, pulling all this out. Bam. See you later. Twist ties everywhere once again. Boy, the vacuum. Getting a tough workout. Tough time for this vacuum. Might be time to replace the vacuum. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Snake Man Infiltrator off over to the side there. And now we get down to some business right over here. As we do get some weapons, we get the big long staff, axe staff, whatever you want to call this. Uh, reminds me of Castle Grayskull. And we get this in like an ivory color, I think, with the Grayskull. Uh, but all in silver here, all in a gray color, looking good. Looking like a nice staff, like they're going to hold the line or something. Like they're in Lord of the Rings or Marvel Legends Endgame or something. Who knows? And then you do get the snake staff. We've seen this with a few different snake men in different toy lines over the years. This one all in a gray color. Really does look like you got some spray paint. This silver painted this one here. But it does look good. does look different, which I do like. So we get this little staff here. 
Now we get down to business. We get down to the Snake Man infiltra Infiltrator here. And the first thing I noticed, like I said, he wouldn't get past me very far. I'd say, wait a minute, old Barney's got red eyes going there. What's going on here? Uh, definitely some red eyes on him. Definitely looking extra scary. I'm trying to get a look at that mouth. You can't really see the mouth. I don't, you got some movement in this mask. He does have his COVID mask on. I think there was restrictions in Eternia for a while. I think they've since been lifted. Somebody can fact check that as well. But he has got a COVID mask on. I believe that's what that is. But you can't really see his mouth, unfortunately. It looks like it's not very reptilian-like. It would be cool if it was a, a head that was removable or a second head with this one. And you're like, bam, look at this guy. He's he's up to no good. He's just a straight-up reptile. Uh, but he does got a very man-at-arms-like mask on. I mean, this looks like an, a guard, of course, of an attorney. And that's what he's supposed to be. You got that orange color from, of course, uh, man-at-arms that we're so accustomed to. You got the Terry, Terry's time box shin guards going on. Got some of the arm coverings. Got the big chest protector. Looking really good here. Of course, Eternia's finest boots and loincloth combo. Just got the Snake Men title belt. I believe this is the Snake Men European title belt, though. A little bit down the rung, but still a respectable to be a champion, really, at the end of the day. Of course, articulation is going to be the same as Man at Arms. Arms going to go around for us, side to side, single jointed elbows, hands back, four side to side, head back, four side to side, of course. There it is, little waist articulation, splits if you need them, back and forth on the knees, single jointed knee, boot cut, ankles back and forth, side to side as well there. Of course, he should fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand, use discount code Kyle, save yourself 10%. What do you know? Fits perfectly right there. Got the green skin tone to him, which uh, definitely looks very realistic compared to Man at Arms. His green skin tone, if that's or it's, I don't know, is it like an Under Armour shirt and bodysuit he's got going on? I'm not exactly sure, but this guy, uh, you can almost believe he is just straight up green. And I was just thinking, I could pop this head off. I think should be able to pop the head off, right? And I can pop the waist off. There it goes. I was gonna say I should be able to pop that head off if I need to. Pop that head off, and then I do have Squeeze hanging around from the last unboxing. <laughs> pop the waist off again. Seems to be a little theme here. Come on, Squeeze. There it is. Give it a squeeze. Not going to match really well, but you could have done something like this. Grabbed an extra head and said, oh, now we got a real snake man. It would have been cool to get a second head uh, for a snake man here. But just not in the cards, but definitely looks interesting. I just wish the skin tone matched. Once again, pull them off the waist first, I guess. Pop that back on here. Oh, there you go. Use some pressure. Got to use some pressure. I can just see me as little Kyle, like three years old. Dad, could you pull that head off? I can't do it. I'm not strong enough. Uh, but uh, yeah, there we go. Squeeze. Going to stick him back together. Throw him back off to the side. And then, of course, we do got the Big Lot Special. Of course, he was a fan channel exclusive. And if you remember back to the days, was it two years ago? What is time, as we say? He was showing up at Big Lots like crazy. Of course, not showing up at my Big Lots. I have the worst Big Lots in the United States. I'm saying it. You see my figure hunt videos. There is never anything at my Big Lots. Every once in a while, there's a random basic, maybe a ring, maybe like a stretch wrestler for little kids, maybe some knockoff Barbies. But there is nothing. I see these people finding all this cool stuff at their big lots every once in a while. Just went there the other night. There, People are getting all this stuff. They had a 20% off everything in the store. I'm like, oh, yeah, now's going to be my time. And I walk in there, and every time I'm like, what am I doing with my life? What am I doing? How? I, there's only so much time in your life, and I'm wasting this 20 minutes going to big lots. What the heck are you doing, Kyle? And then I return like a week later. I just don't get through to myself. I don't know what's going on, but it is the biggest waste of time ever. I wish it would just close down. I'm sure those people in that store, they can find a job somewhere else. There's a Burlington and a Ross real close. They could jump over to those, I'm sure, in a heartbeat. They'd get hired with the holiday season coming up. But this Big Lots is just getting out of curry, out of control, and I could never find this guy at Big Lots, and it's still deep in my craw all these years later. Just absolutely infuriating is what it is. But got a lot of reuse between these two. You got the yin and the yang. Definitely going to be buying more of these. Definitely need to find more of these as well. Going to build out a little army of these guys. The threes are usually good army builders for me. That'll probably be my plan in the future. But very fun. I love a good army builder. I love a good man at arms. So they're playing a lot of hits here today. I don't got any problems with either of these figures. But definitely very easy repaints when all four of these are really the same thing for the most part with a few tweaks. So... That's the way it is. That's the old biz, the toy business. But there it is. What do you guys think? You pick these up, you pass on these, you play in the long game, you play in the no game. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and the other YouTube channel as well. Don't forget to subscribe to both of them while you're at it. Don't forget to uh, hit up the old notification so you know when videos like these do drop. And they drop on a daily basis. And they drop even more as a member of the Patreon, your best way to support the channel. Got uploads there 
every single day and then some. And best of all, best way to support the channel, like I did say, you can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for some of Eternia's finest, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.